How's everybody doing? I want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day. Let me know if you're doing anything to celebrate. Um, my husband and I don't usually celebrate, so, um, you know, I got the kids a little something, but uh, we don't usually make a big deal about it. We just say happy Valentine's Day. We love, we love each other. We appreciate each other, you know, stuff like that, but we don't go out to eat or anything, but let me know if you guys do. Um, and, you know, I thought since today was Valentine's Day and, um, you know, it's the day for love that I wanted to talk about, um, you know, how we can love ourselves, even if we don't have a significant other or, um, you know, we don't celebrate Valentine's Day, we can still, um, you know, we can still learn to love ourselves and love, love who we are, right? as people. Um, and so I just wanted to give some tips today on how to do that. Uh, so all right. Um, so let's get started on today's topic. And um, I wanted to start with this, I guess, quote from uh, Tony Robbins that I really like. Um, who likes Tony Robbins? Who knows who that is? Who likes him? I really um, get inspired by him. Um, he's just a really inspire, a inspiring person to me. So let me know if you feel the same way about him. Um, but he says, learning to fall in love with yourself is essential for your happiness and how you interact with the world. So I think he, he means that like when we, um, when you love who you are, you'll naturally spread that love into the world. So if you can learn to love who you are, you can um, spread that to others. But if we don't like ourselves and we don't like who we are, or who we've become, it's going to be harder for us to, love others and love um, and spread that love to others. And so um, I just really like that, that um, saying from him. And um, I feel like when we, when we love who we are, we will exude that confidence and joy, you know, like we will be happy. We will be confident when we love who we are. So I think that's why it's important. It's not about being like, you know, all, all stuck up and in love with yourself. And like, I don't mean it like that. I just mean, do you love the person that you've become or are you not the person who you thought you would be? And you, you know, you want to change that. You want to, um, you want to love yourself. You want to love who you've become. So my tips are going to help you do that. And they're quick and simple tips. It's not like you got to go change your life or quit your job or anything like that. So, um, so the point of today is how can we build our self-love and learn to love who we are? Um, so I have three tips that are going to help you with this. And they're, um, like I said, they're, they're things you can do, like start doing today, um, to, to start loving yourself more, to, uh, show yourself love and start loving who you are more. So tip number one is to be kind to yourself and talk to yourself with love. Um, and I have to admit there was a time when I talked very negatively to myself, like everything was negative. I could not say anything positive about myself or about what I did or anything like that. I was just, I thought very negatively. And um, like if I, if I mess something up, I would call myself dumb or stupid. I would never tell myself good job um, when I did something good or, uh, you know, even if someone else told me good job. Um, you did a good, good thing, or this was great. I couldn't accept it. You know, I just didn't think I did anything right. And so, um, 
when I started making it a habit to speak more positively to, to myself and recognize things I did do right, um, I became a happier person. So I became more positive. I started um, thinking more positively, thinking about the upside of things instead of always the negative side. And um, I started giving myself, you know, praise for what I've been, what I do, what I've been accomplishing. And you know what that did? That made me want to go do more, go accomplish more because it felt good. Um, and so I think a lot of this is because society tells us how we should look and how we should live. Um, but we have to realize that that what you see on social media um, is not what people, it, it's only what people want you to see. It's what people want you to know about their lives. It's not everything. And I'm not saying that we have to show everything, all the bad things. I don't show all the bad things. You know, I don't show uh, that I've been up in the middle of the night because my daughter you know, has an ear infection. I don't show everything about my life. I don't complain. I don't, um, I don't, I don't want attention just because something, you know, I'm going through something. I don't, I don't think that that's good either. I don't think that we should show every part of our lives on social media. And I don't think, I think there's some things that we should keep private, but um, I just want you to be aware that you know, everyone has things that they don't show on social media that they don't want you to know, right? Or that they just want to keep private and that's okay. But don't think that, oh, she has such a perfect life. Um, I can never live up to that because my life is far from that. No, I just want you to be aware that, you know, and I'm sure you are, I'm sure you realize that you know, social media is just what people want you to know, right? So um, I think that that really plays into our self-esteem and how we feel about ourselves. If we're following people on Facebook or Instagram or wherever, if we're following these people that they look like they have their life together and they look perfect and they, you know, it makes you feel bad about yourself, then I, I think that that can affect you very negatively. It can affect your self-esteem. It can affect your mental health. And so, you know, um, when I first, you know, started being on Facebook and Instagram and watching YouTube and all this, um, I would watch these people and after a while I began to feel that way. I began to feel like, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't like, I don't like this. I don't like how she makes me feel. I don't like how this person, you know, makes me feel less than or not, not good or whatever. And so I just stopped following all those people. I only follow people that I really um, feel good about following. I like what they're posting. I like th um, that they're encouraging. I, I like, um, you know, I just like them. They make me feel like a better person. They like, they make me feel good when I see them or watch them or read their post. I don't like it when someone um, makes me feel, um, feel bad. So I just stop following those people. And I recommend you do that too. If, if, if every time that you follow or you see someone's post or, video or something and they don't make you feel good, they make you feel worse about yourself, then don't follow them because that is going to eventually play into your self-esteem and how you feel about yourself and, um, and your mental health. And it's just not worth it. So surround, surround yourself with more positive people and more positive accounts. And, um, and I think that will really help your, um, your self-esteem and how you feel about yourself. So um, if you, if you're in the habit of like negative self-talk, like I was, um, try to turn it around to something positive. 
that's what I started doing. I tried to, instead of, um, you know, like for example, now if I have a list of things I need to get done for the day uh, and I don't get to everything, instead of me beating myself up and, and saying, you never get everything done, uh, I'll turn around and say, oh, you did four out of five out of the five things that you wanted to do today. That is great. You know, you did almost everything. And so I try to just be more positive and turn it around um, instead of being like, you know, hard on myself. So just turn your negativity, your negative self-talk, turn it around. And that's really going to help you. Um, be kinder to yourself and um, and start loving who you are because, you know, we're not perfect and uh, and we don't need to expect perfection from ourselves or from anyone else for that matter. Um, so just just try to talk to yourself more positively. If you feel yourself, you know, um, starting to talk negatively about yourself, turn it around and say, no, actually, you know, I didn't accomplish everything that I wanted to today, but I almost did. I did four out of the five things and that's pretty good, you know? Um, okay. So my second tip to loving who you are is to adjust your physical state. Now, what do I mean by this? Um, I just mean, uh, okay, so a lot of times the way we carry ourselves can make us feel um, more or less confident, right? Um, and so if we, like if we're always hunched over like that, do you think that we're going to feel confident? No. But if you put your shoulders back, sit up straight, you know, um, sit more confidently, walk more confidently, stand up more confidently. Um, we're going to feel better about ourselves. We're going to look better. We're going to, um, we're going to feel, it's going to make us feel more confident instantly. I know I do. Like when I notice I'm hunching over, I'm like, okay, I got to sit up straight. And I'm always working on that, like sitting up straight and with my shoulders back, because I know that makes me feel better. Um, and so work on that. Just work on, um, your posture and anytime you feel yourself like hunched over, just try to push your shoulders back and sit up straight. Um, and that's going to automatically make you feel more confident and, um, and, uh, something I read too, I don't remember where, but something I read too is when we're like hunched over like that, we don't breathe. Like we tend to hold our breath or not breathe as deep. So when we're sitting up straight, we breathe better. Like we take deeper breaths um, because we can breathe better because we're not like, like this, we're like able to breathe better. So keep that in mind too. Like when you, um, when you fix your posture, it's going to help you breathe better. And that, that'll make you feel better too, like deep breathing and stuff. And I know we've talked about that before. Um, so it's that simple, you guys just change your posture, change your physical state, and that's going to make you feel better and more confident and help you breathe better. Um, and then my third tip is to, um, to do something you're good at, S just simply do something that you're good at more often. Because um, I know we get busy with life and everything, and, and there's certain things that we used to do, like hobbies and things that we did, we used to do more, and now we don't because we're just busy with work and kids and all this stuff. Um, but if we can make more time for the things that we're good at, that can give us more confidence. So um, we all have talents that we're good at. We all have things that we really enjoy doing that make us feel good. And, um, and when we do them, most of the time, they make us feel good about ourselves, right? Just think about the, the, the thing that you love to do. The last time you did it, did it make you feel good about yourself? You know, if it's something that you enjoy, if it's a hobby and something that you're good at, most of the time, it makes you feel better about yourself. Um, so if you have a favorite hobby, 
uh, that makes you happy, make time to do it more often. You know, like if you've kind of gotten away from doing it, do try to do it more often, you know, actually schedule it in so you will do it. Um, and this will not only give you something to look forward to, um, it will also boost your confidence. And, um, and a bonus tip for this, for this one is to show gratitude for the things you're good, good at. Show gratitude, be grateful for what you're good at. Um, because gratitude is so powerful for learning to love yourself and your life. And I've learned that, um, myself, like if I practice gratitude every morning, I start my morning, um, I mean, before I even get out of bed, I, I pray and I, and the first thing I pray about is what I'm grateful for before I ever ask anything else. I pray about what I'm grateful for. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. And that makes such a difference. And it starts my day out um, positively. It starts my, it gives me a better mood. It makes me happier because I have started my day with gratitude. The, the more grateful you are, the more you find things to be grateful for. That is so true. Yes. And I've found that true in my own life. Like the more I was grateful for what I had, um, you know, the more, the more, it's like the more you get blessed, the more you are grateful for, for what you already have, the more blessings come. And so uh, that, that is a huge thing. Yeah. I think it's a huge thing um, to practice if you want to feel better about who you are and where you're at in life and everything. And, you know, to, when you're grateful, then I think that that, that can help you um, keep moving forward with things, with goals, with, with things you want to achieve. Gratitude can really help with that. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go over the tips one more time. This was a short and sweet one today. I'm not going to talk for an hour today. <laughs> um, the tip number one was uh, to be kind to yourself and talk to yourself with love. And then tip number two was um, to adjust your physical state, you know, sit up straighter, put your shoulders back, look more confident. And then the third tip was to um, do something you're good at. That makes you feel better about yourself. It makes you love who you are. And then show gratitude. That was the bonus tip. Show gratitude for what you are good at and what you have. Um, and, uh, and if you are really wanting to learn how to be a co the confident woman that you've always desired to be, um, but you feel like habits are getting in your way, um, different, you know, things are getting in the way of that, I want to invite you to check out my new course, the Cravings to Confidence course. Um, in this course, I take you through uh, four steps that I took and that I take my one-on-one -on -one clients through um, to help them create new habits that serve them better, get rid of old habits, and um, also get rid of cravings. It helps, it helps you get rid of your cravings that, that hold you back from, um, that don't serve you anymore. It helps you uh, get rid of old habits that you don't want anymore. Hey girl, hey precious. Thanks for joining me. Um, and then, uh, and it helps you it helps you create new habits that you do want, um, habits that you, um, that you, that you want to be better at. So it helps you with all three of these things. And it's a, um, it's four, four steps, four pillars. And, um, and it just, uh, it's videos and it's, um, self-paced. So you know, you can 
take as long as you need with it. There's no like timeline. If you get through it all and you want to go back through it and review it, it's yours. It's yours forever. And then the best part of all you guys with my Cravings the Confidence course is you get a one hour session with me, a one hour one on one coaching session with me um, where we go go through whatever you want. If you want clarification on something, if you're still um, having trouble with with one of the steps, we go through that or we can talk about okay, you've gotten through this course. Now what's next? You know, whatever it is that you need coaching on, that's what we will cover in the one hour session. Yeah. Cravings the confidence. That's right. Um, so you guys, all of this, the, the cravings, the confidence course and the one hour one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me is only $97. And that's $97 to change your, you know, change your life, to get rid of cravings, to get rid of habits that no longer serve you, and to create new habits that do serve you. And this is going to, in turn, make you um, love who you are even more and be more confident. So... If you guys are interested, I'm going to leave that link to my Cravings to Confidence uh, course, and you can just click on it and read more about it, um, and then that's how you can also purchase it if you're interested, uh, but there is more like um, more in-depth reading on it if you want to read a little bit more about it before you purchase it. But I'll leave that link below. And um, yeah, I know, it, isn't it? It's a steal, $97. Like, and it will change your life. I've had great feedback on it so far. So um, it really does help for cravings and habits. So yeah. Um, but I'll leave that link below and you guys, uh, let me know what tip you're going to do. Let me know what tip you're going to start doing to, um, you know, start being more confident and loving who you are because you deserve that. You are a special person. God made you just the way he wanted you and you deserve to love who you are. So let me know what tip that you want to start doing that you're going to start practicing. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.